In today's video, I'm going to cover something I've never covered before. We're going to talk about the best reloading powders for your hunting rifles. So I'm going to look at some of the more popular and hopefully obtainable powders. You know, it's been really hard the last three years to get powder, but we're going to go over the powders that work extremely well in most cases and which ones that you should look for. Hope you enjoy the video. Now, before I start talking about some of the best powders for certain cartridges, ones that you should look for, that type of stuff, I want to talk about the main types of powder. There's two main types. There are others, but we're just going to talk about these two. Number one is extruded powder. And as you can see, they're kind of like little pellets. Then the main other one that a lot of people use, especially in factory ammo, is ball powder and this is what ball powder looks like it's much smaller kind of sticks to things so it's not my favorite to reload with but it measures out extremely well so a lot of manufacturers use it because it's a lot easier to load for in a lot of cases let's be honest rating powder is really subjective there's really only a couple things to really look at number one is temp stability and number two is probably how fast you want it to go because just about every powder you're going to be able to get accuracy so i'm not really going to rate it with accuracy wise but let's go ahead and look at a list of temp stable powders and so what does this really mean let's talk about that temp stability is really how we measure how much difference in velocity there is going to be when you switch climate uh, like extremes so if it's really cold is it going to go a lot slower and if it's really hot is it going to go a lot faster and so ideally you want a very temp stable powder like on this list varget seems to be about the best so you're not going to see a huge difference when you go in extremes with the temperature now generally speaking imr powders are not usually temp stable some of them are decent but it's most of them are not that great. Also, in general speaking, ball powder is not very temp stable either. Now, according to this list, one of the best temp stable powders is Varget, and one of the worst is CFE223, which is a ball powder that you use for 556 and 223. So I thought I would go through and pick popular cartridges and what powders work extremely well for those cartridges. Let's start with 223 or 556. I'm not going to say BLC2 is the most popular powder for the 223 or 556, but it is extremely popular and it works very well. So it is a ball powder and it provides very good velocities. It's usually giving you some of the highest velocities you can get in a 223. There is a downside, as we just mentioned, with uh, temperature stability. BLC2 is not very temp stable, and so there is that downside for it. But otherwise, it's a very good powder. Let's move on to probably the powders that most people are going to use because most people are shooting 308 Winchester, 65 Creedmoor, 30 out 6, 270, 25 out 06 Remington, and 7 millimeter 08. These are kind of your medium burning powders to fast burning powders that just work. They're the workhorse powders and probably the most famous and well-known one that I have is H4350, another extremely good powder for 6.5 Creed and 308 Winchester is Varget. I don't have any Varget currently, but that's also an extremely good powder. and. I recently did a community post talking about IMR 4350, how I think it's a very underrated powder. Currently, I have it loaded up in 30-06, 270 Winchester, and I even tried it in my 257 Weatherby with excellent results for all of those. I really do think this is a very good powder. And it's not too bad on the temp stability. It's kind of right in the middle, so it's not terrible. Now let's talk... My big one, IMR4064. This is a very well-known powder for 30 out 6 and 308 Winchester. It just works. Um, if you've seen my channel, you know I have a Winchester Model 70 and 30 out 6 that 
does not shoot well. It only likes one bullet with IMR4064. So it's, it's a darn good powder. H4350 is probably the best one that I have currently because it's very temp stable and it gives a little bit better velocities than IMR4350. However, ironically enough, none of my rifles like H4350. So I don't have a lot of it and I probably won't get too much more of it just because nothing likes it. Let's move on to my favorite types of powders, the Magnum powders, the slower burning powders, the ones that are going to give you some of the better velocities. Uh, let's just start with probably what people consider one of the best Magnum powders and best powder around and extremely difficult to find. It's H1000. So that's what I have here. Uh, as you can see, it's extruded. And why is it considered one of the best? Well, you get great velocities and it's extremely temp stable. So about as temp stable as it gets h1000 so it's very popular for people shooting 300 win mag 300 prc uh, i even tried a little bit in my 300 weatherby um, i still need to do a little bit more development with h1000 in my 300 weatherby i just got this powder i've been looking for this powder for three years and i finally got my hands on some so next up is two staples for the the weatherby cartridges if you're going to own a 300 Weatherby, these are the two powders you should try. First, H4831SC. This powder is very temp stable, so it's a popular one. Uh, probably not going to get you as high velocities as H1000 or IMR7828 or Reloader 22, but it still gets you great velocity. In fact, I can get 3,300 feet per second with a 175 grain with H4831SC. This powder is just extremely good. And the other great things about this is, of course, the 270 Winchester actually shoots H4831 pretty darn well. And if you want to snooze up your 270 to be a little bit faster, H4831 is your choice. Now, IMR7828. This one's kind of a double-edged sword. So we talked about the powders that are not very temp-stable. IMR7828 is not temp stable and in fact it's kind of on the pretty bad end of not being temp stable but this powder is fast if you have a seven millimeter remington mag or a 300 weatherby that's your choice right there to get you great velocities it's a good powder despite it not being temp stable now speaking of terrible temp stable we've got reloader 22. this powder at least in my rifles, gives me crazy fast velocities, like getting almost 3,400 feet per second with a 175 grain in my 300 Weatherby, and getting me 3,800 feet per second with a 257 Weatherby and a 100 grain bullet. But it's one of the worst temp stable powders you can get. So just know that you should probably do your load development uh, about the same weather you're going to have and temperature you're going to have when you actually hunt. So you can have that consistency. Now a powder that I don't have, or I'll name two other powders that are extremely good that are extremely hard to find and people want really badly is Retumbo and Reloader 26. So Reloader 22 is pretty quick, but Reloader 26, if you're looking for velocity, that is probably the king of velocity is Reloader 26. It is just magical. <laughs> Gives you crazy good velocities. But these are the Magnum powders. Probably some of the best ones you can get. It again, is H1000 and Retumbo. Now, if I had to narrow it down to five powders that I particularly own, I know there are a lot of other great powders out there that I just can't get my hands on, like Reloader 26, Varget, and a handful of others. Uh, these are my top five. Now, particularly, I've mentioned IMR4350. I think it's super underrated. It just works. It's not extremely temp unstable. It's kind of in the middle. It's, it's awesome. And then 
I would absolutely recommend for anyone shooting 308, 65 Creedmoor, 30 out 6, you got to give H4350 a try. It's not working for me in my rifles, but it works for a whole lot of other people. Then H4831 SC, you have a 68 Western, any of the Winchester short magnums, 300 Win Mag, 300 Weatherby, any of the magnums, H4831 is just going to work. H1000, if you can find it, it's an awesome powder. And I look forward to loading it more in my 300 Weatherby and 257 Weatherby. And then finally, yes, this is very temp unstable, but I don't really care. And it works extremely well in Weatherby cartridges. If there was one powder I would recommend for a Weatherby guy reloading, it's probably 7828 SSC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite powders are, because, of course, it really just comes down to what the rifle likes.